ever thought about going on Clomid with your TRT? Um, find out next as we discuss this. I, I guess the other question is, so there are some doctors that we've come across in the United States that are using uh, a combination of uh, clomiphene with uh, exogenous testosterone at the same time and you know, going back to the 90s and the early noughties you think well that's a bit strange it's like you know uh, you're running the the uh, accelerator and having the handbrake on so i mean what, what are your thoughts on on the combination yeah, you know, of we used to say that's a no-no okay um yeah i just i just type testosterone plus clomid excelmail.com that's how i you know you can also there's a search um feature inside my my site but you know, there's actually a study that I saw, um, um, a study that I um, that actually saw on combining the two, and we used to think that was a no-no because we're already blocking, we're already doing a feedback kind of shutdown with testosterone, LH and FSH, and then I saw a study that actually really showed good results. Um, this yeah. is a study to actually compare uh, testosterone alone, clomid alone, testosterone plus clomid, and they actually found better results on the combo uh, sexually, erectile uh, function, um, libido, and all that. And I was, I was surprised. And it's actually from a good medical group here in the States. I was probably published two years ago. So I'm not, uh, as I said, when I, once I see data, that hey, maybe there's something here. Mm. I think there's something to it. Some doctors, believe it or not, are also combining, like Dr. Ramasamy, is combining Clomid with HCG at the same time. Okay. And, and, tes and testosterone as well. Clomid and HCG. Testosterone as well. So a lot of things that just basically two years ago uh, were considered a no-no. You just, why combine an androgen with an estrogen, um, you know, an antagonist like a Clomid or a serum? And now we're starting to see data that, hey, it's, it's probably a worthwhile thing to try. Mm. So I don't, that's why when I see uh, never say never, because we're starting to see that there's a synergistic effect, even in things that don't make sense, like mm. adding basically a serum or an estrogen blocker or, you know. Like some uh, as it, well. This is already shutting down the feedback mechanism. You see an LH and FSH of zero, then you come in with clomid and you're trying to reawaken that access. And there is some reawakening of the LH and FSH, even in the presence of, testosterone or HCG. So I really want to see more data. I really want to see more people not only trying it and talking about it. My guys are, you know, Excel Mail haven't really tried the combos. Um, but as I said, I only saw a study that compared actually different arms. We, we have some patients that have tried and or even yeah. patients on a combination of tamoxifen um, instead of clomiphene because it also awakens the LH and FSH and uh, testosterone, HCG. And they we see the... Um, you know, a good amount of LH and FSH present. So you know there's something going on. At least they're getting some LH and FSH release. And does that have any other targeted effects besides just the testes? I'm not sure if we know yet. But um, so the, yeah, there's a chap I spoke to who um, was on long term TRT and he, t he started taking uh, Clomid um, 12.5 milligrams, I think it was a day. And he ran that for quite a short period of time. And his sperm count just, you know, his LH and FSH came back quite strongly. His sperm count shot up really quickly, and then he conceived. He actually stayed on it a while because I think he felt quite good, and then he just it just sort of withered away, I think, because of availability. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Maybe this is something else that we'll see a bit more regularly. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing the guys at Baylor, the doctors there here in Houston, to do that combo. But believe it or not, it was one of those uh, two, the two combos. Uh, yeah. Dr. Ramasan is already using Clomid and um, HCG with good results in Miami. He just uh, gave a lecture. Uh, I have a video on my YouTube of Excel mail of him. I was actually surprised, but he said, yes, it's, I've seen good results. He was against testosterone and Clomid together for the same reasons everybody has been against for all these years. Yeah. Uh, but some doctors are combining it, like you're saying. Uh, I'm, I want to see more sexual function data. <laughs> yeah. That's what we want to see, because on paper, everybody looks great on yeah. Clomiphene or in Clomiphene. I want to see um, even a, a regular question. Do you have more morning time erections or are you feeling more sexually attracted? Yeah. Or are you more on even a simple question? Are you more on the hunt for sex or are you masturbating more? I mean, simple questions that can be included in a study just to, because that really has been the weakness of, of Clomid by itself. 
people mm-hmm. feeling like, yeah, my sperm is a lot better, but I don't, I don't want to have sex with my wife to conceive a child. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. So that's a, that's a bit of a, that's a good link then to HCG use with with TRT. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, it's been Balance with Hormones. Hopefully, the, the topics have been helpful. Um, if you want to subscribe and uh, you know ring the notification bell uh, to get notifications for more content like this. Um, yeah, we'll be back with more. Okay, thanks for listening. Okay, bye. Bye bye. <laughs>